Hello and welcome back to Chill System. So I'm going to sit you here for a moment and I'm going to explain something to you. Gonna, I, what actually happened was my tripod has went and broken so I need to get a new one so I don't have anywhere really to set my camera. But basically for this week, I am hoping to go vegan for the full week. There's no exact promises that I will because I don't exactly know what I'm doing because I have no idea about vegan stuff. I have no idea about vegetarians. The only thing I do know is, correct me if I probably am wrong, is that vegans don't do anything to do with animals. Now, it's no word of a lie that I am in my pyjamas because it is night time, but I didn't film an intro this morning. But today I actually went shopping and I got some vegan stuff. And I thought what I would do is I would actually show you what I'm eating every day and let you know if you want to be vegan and let you know exactly what you can eat and what you can't eat, which most of my shopping has been done at Morrison's and some at Iceland. I suppose you could probably get most of the stuff or like some of the stuff in like any sort of supermarket. But except from that, I thought that I would just might as well give it a try. I mean, there's nothing that can really go wrong. And I thought it's quite interesting because I would really love to go vegan, but it's just like the kind of transition from going like eating anything to everything to like going vegan and really not doing anything to do with animals. And I feel like when I was shopping, there wasn't a lot of options, but obviously I didn't know what was vegan, what wasn't vegan because I hadn't really looked at anything before to know what I could eat and what I couldn't eat. Obviously, like, I know the simple things, like, if it had, like, the big V and it said vegan, it meant that it was vegan, but, like, stuff like that, it's, like, I got some vegetarian stuff as well, and I'm, like, I don't know if they are vegan, so if you are vegan and you know what I'm eating is not vegan, please leave a comment down below because I would really love to know what I can eat and what I can't eat, but don't trust me on this one, but hopefully I will get it right. So if you're interested in going vegan for any reason whatsoever, just please watch and you will find out what you can eat and what you can't eat, even though it might not be 100% wrong. Like, I know the basics, like, I got soya milk, which I'm pretty sure 100% is vegan, um, and I got, like, chocolate soya milk, and I had got, like, fruit, obviously, fruit and veggies, obviously, and vegan which I actually had for my breakfast this morning. I did have uh, apples and grapes, so it wasn't too bad. And I also did have my my lunch, no, sorry, not lunch, my dinner. And I'll insert a clip now of what I had. I'm having a vegan katsu sweet potato rice curry, which is from Morrison's. And I'll insert a picture of the exact, um, what they called the package of the curry, in case you want to try it. I've not actually tried it yet, but I'll let you know how it tastes. Right, it was actually, it was alright. I wasn't the biggest fan of, like, the chicken sweet potato sort of thing that was in it. But I fed Lucky some of it, which he found quite nice. <laughs> I think he thought it was quite nice. But it was alright. I would probably maybe eat it again, I'm not sure. But, you know what, it wasn't the worst dinner I've ever had. I also had an original Lucky Z as well with my dinner, so that was alright, and I'm pretty sure this is vegan. I did see it on a site saying it was vegan, so hopefully it is. Now, I know nothing really, but we're trying, I'm trying my hardest. It was actually a katsu curry, and it was alright, as I said, but it wasn't something I would constantly eat, but I probably would eat again. And then um, I had my dessert, which I'll also insert a clip of as well. Which was actually pretty nice. I really enjoyed it. It was uh, it was called like a monkey moo moo, which I'll insert a uh, um, picture of the box the now. Which was actually from Iceland and the dinner was from Morrison's. Which is, it's a Morrison's mate, so I'm not quite sure if you'd be able to get it in any other supermarket. Maybe something like it. But it is now later on at night and I'm going to definitely be vlogging what I'm eating for the next few days because I have got quite a selection of stuff and I'm actually feeling quite peckish right now because I've not had much to eat today because I've not, I've been quite busy, I've been out and stuff. So I'm going to have some snacks which I'm going to show you what my options are. So I'll just go and get them right now and show you. 
So I have my selection of snacks here. I do also have a chocolate bar, but I'm not quite sure where it went. It was a dark chocolate. If I find that, I'll show you. It was um, mint dark chocolate, I think, which I love dark chocolate. It's my favourite thing ever. Is It's actually like an Easter egg, but it's um, an after eight Easter egg. And the actual Easter egg is like after eight dark chocolate, and it's so good. I love it so much. But you probably would have already seen that on my what's called my easter video which i vlogged and showed you what easter eggs i got so anyway for snacks i have these here which are oreos and i believe every single pack of oreos i believe i'm not sure but i think all oreos are actually vegan and they're like accidentally vegan because it doesn't actually tell you exactly what's in it but i don't think they meant it to not be vegan or be vegan so got some oreos here i don't think it says like vegan or vegetarian or something on it i could be wrong but these were actually on sale these were two pound down to a pound in um, morrison's so if you have a local morrison's check out your local morrison's and you'll see probably them down in sale so it's like a six pack here six like mini packs of oreos or i have some of these which i believe are also vegan um, it says vegetarian but I think it's also vegan because I've actually seen a website called Accidentally Vegan but it's not a website, it's an um, Instagram page and they show you stuff that are like accidentally vegan and they're not quite like, say, they don't say vegan on them but they are actually vegan um, so I got these here which um dark chocolate and raspberry rice cakes never actually tried them before I, I have tried rice cakes but not dark chocolate i've tried it with milk chocolate and white chocolate and i've never tried it with raspberry on it as well so i'm quite excited to try these now these here these are suitable for vegetarians right but i seen this post post or something like that and it said that i had palm oil in it and i had i has um something else and i think it's gluten i have no idea what palm oil is and i think gluten's from pigs so i'm not sure if these are vegan or not i think i might pass because i'm pretty sure everything i've had today is 100 percent vegan so i might pass in these today because at least i can say that i've done one day that's 100 percent vegan and also for drink i've just been drinking water and i was also drinking original lucozade which i'm pretty sure is vegan as well because it said it on that instagram page that i was looking at so I've got either the option of my dark chocolate raspberry rice cakes or my mini Oreos or I do have my chocolate bar but I have no idea where it went but I think I'm going to go with a pack of mini Oreos because I do like Oreos and I've not had Oreos for a while. So they're just like mini packs. Alright, oh, okay so they're like joined together so there's like two packs joined together and then you just sort of separate them like this. Oh, maybe not. Oh no. Right, okay, that's not going too well. I've ripped the packet. Ah, there we go. Right, okay. This one is this one's open, so I'm gonna have this pack uh, and put the other pack back in the box. Oops, close the box back over. So I'm gonna eat some mini Oreos the now for a snack, which oh they're tiny, they're so cute. They're so small. I do like the Oreo fins as well because they're quite nice because they're like nice and thin and they're not too chinky chunk chinky. I do like the Oreo fins as well because they're not too chunky as well. But these are these are cute, nice. So I like these, and that is basically my stack. I will also be drinking like I said, for tonight, or well, actually no, I'll be drinking more because it's quite late, and I also need to get up early in the morning. So yeah, what I will do is I will definitely show you what I'm having for breakfast tomorrow, and I'll show you my lunch and my dinner and stuff. And I really hope that this video is informational for some people if you want to go vegan or if you want to even go vegetarian. I think mainly I'm going vegetarian because I feel like I'm going to eat something that isn't but I suppose that's just part of learning. But you never know, maybe after this week I might love it and just fully go for it but I don't know because it's like hard I feel like but I feel like once you're used to it it's going to be easy. But right now it's like I don't know what I can eat and what I can't eat. So, and plus, soy milk, I'm not the biggest fan of. The chocolate, I had chocolate soy milk, which I'll show you right now. So, I got this chocolate soya flavoured milk. Um, well, it's not actually milk. It's, oh, it's 100% plant-based, which is definitely vegan because it says vegan on it here. But I got this and it's not too bad. But this soya milk here, it's 
I wouldn't say it's really bad, but it's kind of like got a grainy texture. I know it sounds rude to kind of say that, but it's got like a grainy texture and it kind of reminds me of nuts and I hate nuts. I cannot eat nuts at all. I'm like not allergic to them, but I can't stand them. And like anything with like nuts in it, it's like kind of puts me off it because I don't like nuts. I just don't like this like sort of texture of them. But the chocolate isn't too bad. I think I would rather have chocolate, but I can't really be drinking chocolate not all the time because it's not healthy. So I'm going to try this tomorrow morning with my cereal and see how that goes. But then again, I do also have toast. I could have toast and I got um, butter, I think it's vegan as well. So I could have that if I don't like my cereal, but I might as well try it. Um, so I'm basically, I'm going to go and eat my Oreos. I'll turn in with you if I have anything else, but I don't think so because I'm going to go to my bed soon. But I'll see you tomorrow then when I'm going to go vegan again for another day, okay? So goodbye for tonight. It's like two seconds later and I found the chocolate. It was hiding under a packet of stuff. Um, so this is the chocolate. It's from Morrison's and it is free from, it's free from, and then it says gluten free and milk free. It says it's vegetarian, which in my mind, I don't know if it's vegan honestly i think it is because it's not got milk in it and um, gluten and milk free mint flavored dark chocolate sugar cocoa cocoa butter cocoa powder oh soya oh no soya is fine that's milk i think i really don't know what these what these like ingredients are but i don't know it doesn't say anything about being vegan but it does say it's vegetarian, but I think I'm actually going to try a bit. Might as well. I know I've not even started eating my Oreos yet. I've only had that one. But I want to try a wee bit because I'm quite excited to try it. See, I do like dark chocolate, but it's 70%. I don't know if that's a lot or not. I think it is. I can't even open it. Right. What's that? Oh, it's like cocoa. Right, okay. So here it is here. It's quite dark. I don't want like a full cube. I'm just going to... Right, okay. Oh, it smells minty, so let's try it. Oh, no, broke my teeth. That's nice. I actually really like that. That's good, definitely. Even if I wasn't vegan, I would 100% buy this because it's so nice and it doesn't taste of like dark chocolate because I'm pretty sure I got dark chocolate before and it was just like plain dark chocolate and it was like 70 or 80 percent and it was like disgusting because it was so dark but this is so good because like you can taste the mint and it's definitely delicious so 100 percent recommend this if it's vegan i think it is because it doesn't have milk it's not got gluten i'm pretty sure it's vegan so it's definitely I win, so I'm going to finish eating this and then I'm going to eat my Oreos. I'm actually having a bottle of water right now, so you can 100% drink water because it's definitely vegan, 100%. Like, that's one thing I can definitely tell you it's vegan. So I'm having a bottle of water before I go to my bed. So, um, it's now Thursday and it's second day of being vegan. It's around five o'clock, but I have been out today. This morning I went and done an exam. Um, in school so I was at school most of the day um, and I did have breakfast which I think yeah I think I did definitely vlog it so I'll insert a couple of that now I have the chocolate pills from Morrison's which but I have some soy milk in it even though I'm not the biggest fan of soy milk it's just like kind of it had a wee bit of taste but not too much I also have a fruit bag as well from Morrison's which is apple slices and yeah that's it and um and then in school i had one of the rice cakes that i showed you about and then i actually went to mcdonald's which was interesting because it's my first time going out because i hadn't like have not been out for anything to eat like outside so i didn't know what i could eat i didn't have a clue about anything so i went and i got a vegan wrap i think I think that's what it's called. It was definitely a wrap. It was like a wrap or something like that. Not gonna lie, it wasn't very good. I took everything off except for that and put chips on it because chips 
are actually vegan and I didn't know that they were vegan um, because they're cooked in vegetable oil so it makes them vegan so I could have the chips so what I did was I took everything off the wrap which this might sound disgusting but honestly it was actually really nice I took everything off the wrap and then put the chips on the wrap and put tomato sauce over it and like rolled it back up like a wrap like a normal wrap and it was so nice I can't believe I've never tried it before like it was actually really really nice so I done that and then I also had an apple pie which are also vegan I believe and um that was it. that was all I had at McDonald's I had a bottle of water as well and then I went to a trampoline park and what I did was I went to the trampoline park and I didn't have anything to eat during that or after it but I got a tango ice blast which is right here they're also vegan I know it's like melted a lot because I got it like an hour ago yeah I got a tango ice blast which was also very nice as well because I do like a tango tango a tango because I do like a tango ice blast every once in a while um, so yeah that is basically what I've had today still haven't had dinner so I will definitely show you what I have for dinner I just didn't show you what I had at McDonald's because I was actually out and stuff now five so I'll be having dinner shortly and I'll show you what I have I'm pretty sure I might be having yeah I think I'm going to have fish fingers and sweet potato waffles so yep so I'll see you soon bye I did also forget to mention I had um, a pack of Oreos. That's what I did have. Did I? No, I didn't. Never mind. I'm lying. I didn't have a pack of Oreos. Yeah, I didn't have a pack of Oreos. Definitely not. Never mind. Forget what I said, okay? <laughs> now, I've had dinner and I'm about to go to bed. But after dinner, I had this. I would give it this chocolate, which is so nice as well. I'm just, like, it's my new addiction. I love it so much. It's so nice. Dinner wasn't the best. <laughs> I didn't eat fish fingers. My mum actually ended up eating the fish fingers. The sweet potato waffles were nice. I really liked them. I actually ended up eating the four of them. So that's what I had for my dinner. Four potato waffles. I'm going out tomorrow. Um, and I think I'm probably not going to be vegan. I don't think I'm going to be vegan tomorrow. And I don't think I'm going to like continue doing it after tomorrow because it's hard and I don't like it really because I feel like there's nothing I can eat and I hate veg, I don't like veg, the only like a veg I like is tomatoes and that's it. I even tried to feed my dog but a fish and it, they didn't like it. It isn't even fish, it's just veg and butter but I didn't really like it so I think I'm going to pass tomorrow. I'm definitely, like, I don't think I'm definitely passing tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to go back to it. I will let you know if I am. If I am, then I suppose I'll continue this vlog. If not, then I will see you again with another vlog. Hopefully, and hopefully I'm not going to jump in and go vegan. I think I would probably rather go vegetarian because, like, I can't deal without my dairy because I love my dairy. I love my milk. I love... A nice fresh cold milk in my cereal in the morning. I like my yogurts. I like my cheese. I wouldn't mind not eating meat, but like, I would rather be vegetarian over vegan any day, probably. Even though I've not tried it, but it's probably easier than being vegan because vegans like don't eat anything. So yeah, so if I don't see you then, you know, I've not continued. I've done two days. I'm pretty, quite proud of myself. I've done two days because I've been like, I've not really ate a lot and that can't be good for me because you're not supposed to be like basically starving yourself because I don't like salads and stuff but I've done not too bad I think um, never know I might go back to it and I will definitely vlog it but if not I'll see you again soon thanks for coming along on my journey of trying to be vegan and kind of not, not, not working <laughs> bye